a number of people have asked what protection I use on my panniers. Uh, they think they're carbon fiber. Now you can see this has been on for two years and it's very scratched because my wife's boot catches it as she gets off. Now what I did was order the Wunderlich protection items from Nippy Normans, which are in some ways amazing. They're virtually impossible to see. I've got the wrap around here. It, it comes up to here. It's self-adhesive, invisible film. And I've got it all around here. Not that you would see it. So that protects the paintwork. But you can buy separately the one for the panniers. And at £39 a set, you need to replace them all the time to make your bike look smart. So I found another way two years ago. And these, these have been on for two years and they're a mess now. They're a mess. If I can focus right down on it, you see the, the boot imprint as it scrapes across the top of there and down also onto here. But this is, it, it is protected by the invisible clear. But I needed something tougher for this and a, and a cheaper way of changing it. So for £4.48, you can actually get enough almost for three sets. So it's pence. It's £1.20 or whatever it is. They could do them all the time compared to £39 to buy the com complete pannier set. And it's much tougher. It's thicker. So all I do first is make a template. This is just my wife's baking paper, sort of grease beef paper. And I literally put a bigger sheet over. I'd already made this one, but I put a bigger sheet over and then impress the edges. And with a pencil, just go around to get as near fit, or not as near fit, to get a perfect fit. And, and I allow it to go down the edge here. So you can keep trimming this until we, and keep trying it. And it's nothing, of course, scrap it and start again. Once you've done one, then of course by turning it, you've got the other side as well. So you've only got to do one. And that becomes your template. What we do then is transfer it onto the vinyl, the carbon fiber imitation vinyl, and cut it out with a pair of scissors. So far, so good. So making sure that I have it the right way up because these are handed of course and you could end up making two of the same pannier. I turn the carbon fibre material which has just arrived from eBay. £4.48 for enough for at least two sets. And if you were really judicious and you, you could get an extra set, but I also make a couple of other little pieces I'll show you later on. So one £4.48 length of this imitation carbon fibre will make enough for at least two sets. So I roughly cut it first. Being aware that I can get two side-by-side -side sets, so don't go too crazy. That's the uh, vinyl. This one's better than before. This is sort of a matte finish, so very attractive. And you can't, I don't know whether you can get the carbon fibre texture in a few colours. I think you can, but with, with the vinyl, of course, you can get any colour under the sun that you want. Whether you can get the carbon fibre, I'm not so sure. So now I literally cut out Now I do it this way because I'm not a professional. And if I can do this, you can do this. The professional car wrappers don't cut the template out, they 
stretch it over with heat guns, dry, and then trim off afterwards. I don't have that confidence. I think it is a better way of doing it, but you have to be pretty skilled to do this, to do it that way. I do it this easier way, knowing me to cut it around with a scalpel afterwards, I would end up having to have my panniers repainted. Now on this edge, I actually allow I allow for a wrap around in, around the edge of the case. You'll see it in a minute. So I just now. Three, four, five millimeter, just to go over the edge of the lip that that closes, gives it a neater neater finish. Snip that corner off there and there to give it a better turnaround, and that's it. Your template, if you can. Look after it, it'll last you the life of your panniers. If not, make another one. Now we go to the difficult job, fitting it. This will fear you, fill you with fear, but fear not. If I can do it, you can do it. The first thing you do is just wipe down, uh, this is where I took off the old one, and it comes off very easily by the way just with a hairdryer or a hot gun and it just peels straight off and it's immaculate. But now I wipe it down with isopropyl alcohol or some pad that you clean your glasses with which has normally got this sort of fluid on and it just wipes out and dries immediately. I just go over the edge because I want to go round the edge which is why I cut it that little bit more. So the isopropyl alcohol will get off everything, a piece of dust, grease more than anything. You want it absolutely clean. So that's the first stage. You might be concerned if you noticed in the light uh, the creases in the film itself where it's been rolled and sent through the post because I don't buy a roll of it, I just buy just over a meter. Don't be concerned about that. They disappear as soon as it goes into position. So the first thing to do is mix up some water into a little spray with a couple of drops of washing up liquid, a little bit of soap, not very much, and just mist the area. So there's a coating of water then peel off, peel off the backing of the vinyl completely itself and mist, mist the adhesive. This might seem strange but it allows you to slide it. Now the professional car wrappers they do it dry because they're experts but we don't. The, uh, this allows you to position it very carefully first and move it around a little bit. So I just need to pull it up a little bit now. You, you know, if you're doing this dry, you can't, you can't do it that easily. And have a little squeegee. Now at this stage, I'll tell you, you start getting really worried because there's curves in this pannier that go every way under the sun and you can't help but get these wrinkles as you see these creases in it. You think, well, I've ruined it now. Remember, it's only one pound something. Um, so don't be too worried. 
you might have a couple of goes at this. But because of the curvature going in different ways, see as it turns the corner here, you've got it's just not going to fit, is it? So you need a heat gun. Uh, on the lowest setting or hairdryer and heat it very gently. These are your precious panniers, remember. If you melt the paint, don't blame me. And just fairly firm pressure and the film is designed to stretch and to shrink back in so you notice what's happening straight away you've been able to turn these corners don't ask me how it's just amazing how it works with a little bit of heat it will take all those horrible wrinkles out and even you can do a professional looking job. I tell you, if I can do this, you can do this. Just take your time. The material is so cheap. Buy extra so you can have a couple of goes. Because in the long term, these get marked and you want to change them. So you've done it a few times, you will really become an expert. See how tight that's gone. Now, I went around the corner. I cut that a little bit extra so that it could go around the corner and give a nice edge. Just play the gun over it. You think it won't stick, see there's an air bubble there. You just press it out. Just keep the, the gun gently. You definitely don't want to overheat it, but you've got to get it to that temperature where it will, it will work. It actually does go around bends. To make it look better. I overlap it over the Vandalik clear one, I just overlap it that little bit to give it a really good protection. And don't forget it all it all comes off with this heat gun. It just peels off, just warm it up and it peels off. So you can change it at any time you want. And that's it. £4.48 for enough to do this twice. At least twice. If you're a bit more careful than me, you probably get three. But we're talking about pants. And it's it's good, it's tough. And you could probably find a colour to match your bike. Well I'm sure you would. There's so many colours out there. Remember the guys who do this professionally will cover a complete, will wrap a complete car so they'll get any colour, any colour you want. Now I also did before, I also did this little bit here. Let me just see if you can see it on the camera. It's hard to see, but this I cut this little portion here and that goes on because that does come a little piece like that comes with the Vanderlick, but I make it longer and it goes down. So that if the boot catches and drags down here, that's protected. So this is protected with the invisible and this with the carbon fiber imitation. So that works really well. You can do it. <laughs>